everybody, welcome to Robert's Train Set. Uh, you may have seen my short version of uh, this video, um, so this is the long version, so I hope you'll uh, bear with it. Um, and I'm going to a bit more um, explanation of things, uh, as this was my first ever uh, steam hauled rail tour. Um, you know, I wanted to make a, um, a video on the day that it was, so this is what you're going to see. So, um, I think first of all, an explanation of the uh, the name of the rail tour, and uh, it, it's all about the 175th year old um, opening of the line that was called um, Eastern Union Railway, i.e. EUR. It's nothing to do with the Euros or the continent, it's all about this eastern region. So that's why it's been celebrated and I think the owner of the um, the, the Mayflower um, had a lot to do with it, you know. And apparently uh, the, the gentleman was on the uh, footplate, so um, David Buck. Um, although of course we never got to really speak to him because we couldn't get access to the engine when it was stationary, which is a bit annoying I must admit. So first things first, um, we were asked in the literature that we got from uh, uh, the Steam Dreams Rail Co um, to take one of these. Um, and if you don't know what this is, it's a, uh, a rapid lateral flow test. Uh, this is the first one I've ever taken and they're not very pleasant, I must admit. Um, but I took it and I was clear. Now, how many of the other passengers have done one of these, I don't know, because, of course, it can't be made compulsory. But um, I took mine, and I was happy to have done it, I must admit. So I've done enough of my waffling, and we'll get on with what you want to really see, won't we? But, uh, yeah, I'm uh, happy that uh, I did everything they asked us to do, and they did organise it very, very well, except for the position of the locomotive, which isn't their fault, was it? Hello everybody, welcome to Robert's Train Set. <coughs> it's Saturday the 14th of August 2021 and I'm going off on my first ever steam hauled um, rail journey uh, from Colchester. Uh, I'm leaving the car behind, I'm going to get to Colchester from where I live on the train and uh, this will be a little uh, vlog of how I get on with maybe hopefully some nice pictures of the Mayflower which is the engine designated to pull the train and we're going to wind our way to Berwick and Edmonds and back so hope you look forward to it cheers everybody cheers so uh, <coughs> here we are at the local station having walked down from the house um, not bad to walk downhill be uphill going home so here's my train coming in um, and they run these here. Uh, we don't get the really new trains down here. I believe, and I'm not absolutely certain about this, but I believe the new trains were just too long for the, the bay platform in uh, Manning Tree, so they can't run them. ridiculous, but there we are. There is my train. The doors are open. Why am I letting the doors shut on my train? Oh, it's going. I'm going to miss it. Oh. Oh, I've missed it. It's going. But it's actually going in the wrong direction. <laughs> because this is a branch line and it ends at Harwich, which is the next stop um, from this station. So my train will go to Harwich, stop, let all the passengers off, get some new ones and come back and pick me up. I could have gone to Harwich, I suppose, but uh, didn't see the point. So here it comes back again. And this time, I will get on it, I can assure you. Because <laughs> it's another hour before another train. As you can hear, it's, uh, there's a few people on the platform um, wanting to catch. Um, and uh, I say this is all pretty new to me. I've not got on a train for a very long time. So, um, you know, uh, in fact, I've probably used the tubes before more than I used the, the type of railway. 
when I was in London, and that was a long time ago. So I found a seat. Um, windows were not too bad. And as you can probably tell, I'm hand-holding all this. Most of today's footage was done hand-held. Uh, it's just couldn't cart a um, tripod round. So here we go, We're starting off on our journey. So I hope you're going to enjoy what you see. And uh, it's going to be long-winded. I just want a full record of my day, um, which I really did thoroughly enjoy. OK, everybody? We are on the train, everybody. And uh, we're just coming into Harrods International, um, which uh, primarily I think is for the, uh, the cruise industry that we have here. Um, I'm just going to turn the camera now through the window, and you may have seen that I did a bit on the Golden Horizon. Well, there it is in Portland, and this is the nearest you can get when you're trying to film it. Um, might be worth getting a ticket sometimes to come in. So there'll be loads of passengers all trying to get on that today. So I've just been asked to show my ticket and um, surprisingly the uh, ticket inspector didn't wear a mask. Um, so yes, it's not uh, above board that everybody wears a mask, but of course it's not man Mandarin. It's not um, imposed now, is it? I've got a choice. So hopefully most people will wear one, especially if the train is going. So as we board into Manningtree Station, uh, what should be beside us but uh, a London train. So uh, we all pulled in um, and uh, waited for the train to stop obviously and um, made my way out and there's this London train right in front of me um, and it would stop at Colchester. Uh, I looked at the forward and it did say Colchester. I had one look at the carriages in here and it was pretty full and I thought I knew there was going to be another one so I just let it go um, and wait for the next one. I wasn't in any particular hurry. So we let that go away. So here we are at Manningtree Station um, and you can see a nice countryside around. Um, it, it's got a reputation of being the smallest town in Britain but I think there, it is disputed somewhere. But uh, it's a nice little town. Um, on the river, on the river Stewart. And this mast keeps coming down. So I'm waiting for uh, the train to come in to get to Colchester. So the train arrived and I got on it, as you can see. It was pretty empty, to be honest, kind of like the other one. So I found a seat and uh, all pretty good, really. Um, all fairly seamless, not too long to wait. And we pulled out a little manning tree and uh, made our way towards uh, Colchester. Um, and it's the next stop, basically. Um, it's one of the mainline train stop here um, because, you know, carriage and other bits. Um, I was surprised how quickly it got the move on, it must have been. Certainly, uh, didn't hang around, I must admit. Um, so yeah, in very short shift, we were in Colchester. We were really good. So I came in on platform four, which is to the left, and on platform five was this train about to go to walk on the maze, I believe, although it can carry on towards um, platform, I believe, mostly platform. Um, so this is the first train I saw leaving um, Colchester Station and I'm actually on the back one. So I thought I'd take that. Um, and as you can see, the, we have quite a few different classes of, of trains. And then something important, I needed a drink, so I went in and got a cup of tea. Uh, nothing else, just the tea. Mm. Let me whistle. And a uh, little view of the station. Luckily I don't think we'll ever recognise those two gentlemen, or this gentleman, because of the, <laughs> the sunshine. But it's, it's a very long station, as I found out from walking. So uh, you've seen this bit before, but of course I'm at the station, so I'm going to film the train sometime, I and mean, there's quite a few of them. So I'll film this one going out. And if you saw my little um, 
trailer, and it was a short one, uh, you'll know probably what's going to happen at the end of uh, when it pulls out. So uh, this was going to London, um, Liverpool Street, and we've got, I think that shed is for cleaning the trains. Um, certainly not long enough to store them, is it? And first view of uh, Mayflower, B1 Mayflower. Gently steaming away there, um, looking very peaceful she was. And as I said in the other bit, I think it's a fantastic looking uh, locomotive, especially in this livery, isn't it? It does make a difference, I think, the livery and the locomotive. And we've got a bit closer. Um, I've not got a huge uh, telephoto on it, but um, it, it got me near enough, I suppose. And of course, I was thinking I could get closer on the platform. Um, and as I was hanging around that, this interrupted and was shooting off. Um, it probably stopped at the platform a bit further up. It's really extended the platform here. And then what happened? Uh, we had, um, I think the firemen had been uh, stoking this fire too much because this was a hell of a lot of uh, steam to waste through the um, uh, escape barrel, wasn't it? You know? um, it really was, a safety barrel, wasn't it? Called. So, uh, but well done to him, keeping the steam up there, really good, ready for the run. Finally finished. So, um, here's a train sitting in the platform, and it's, as you can see, down in Norwich. And it's um, repeated up there on the old screen. So I waited a while and a while and a while for this train to go out. And uh, I think the door shut. And then off it went. Um, on its way, merry way to Norwich. Which the Mayflower train will do at the end of the day today. Uh, but I won't be on it. But my companion on the train would, would be. Um, quite interesting to learn later. So, um, maybe this in the short bit, but we're going to see if we get the longer bit of it. Whether we'll actually see anything with all this steam, I don't know. And uh, this was the, uh, the train coming out the sidings, where we filmed it before, for the morning run, uh, which I wasn't going on. Which is why I came to see um, what was going on. And uh, I must admit the station staff and the Steam Dream people were really friendly in them. Might sometimes get in the way, <laughs> but it uh, wasn't too bad, you know, wasn't too bad. I found it interesting, they look as though they've got the old tile um, lamps on the front, but they've also got the electric one. It's um, interesting, isn't it? Immaculately turned out locomotive and carriages as well. So this is the support coach for Mayflower, which obviously goes around with it all the time. And I thought I'd show you the coaches. So these are like the, the posh people, you know, the the, the, um, the Pullman. Although they weren't really like a Pullman. I suppose it was in a way, but it didn't remind me of a proper Pullman. Um, and the people that sat here were paying double what I was paying. Um, so, just thought I'd get this one going through. And they are really long trains, aren't they? You need a big layout to um, model these a lot in, in actual double O, wouldn't you? You need quite a big one. It's a hang gauge. Wow. So, as you can see, um, the rail tour um, pulled into the station. Now, this is for the morning. Uh, run uh, which left at um, 11 minutes past 11 which will cause its own problems as you will see um, and there's trains going everywhere as you can as I'm showing you So 
So we're back to the, uh, the scene tour and as you can see it's not the best place um, to take a locomotive that everybody wants to get close to. Got the railings. Now they wouldn't let us go up here which is why we moved over to this um, platform because um, we thought we'd get quite a good view. Um, little did we know I'm afraid. Um, but uh, these things happen I suppose don't they? Um, and, uh, I must admit I was hoping to get a better view at Berry. <laughs> that didn't happen either, as you can see. But um, I've got a, quite a bit of uh, filming. So, okay. so this is where we thought we'd be filming it going out. Um, and it would have been not bad, would it? But, you know, get it turned down the way and then come in front of us. Um, but uh, Network Rail had different ideas. Um, and I suppose they've got to run their schedule, haven't they? So, <laughs> and try and fit these in between, I suppose. Um, you know, it's not easy. Uh, bear with me. Um, so, um, Network Rail very kindly parked this train right in the wrong place at the wrong time. And just to compound it, they then sent another train through on that line as the Mayflower was leaving the station. So thank you very much. And um, we'll have to see what we've all got, won't we? So, um, you know, we had this train in the way. So it pushed us all up to the end of the platform. Um, so much for social distancing. And uh, we thought, oh great, so you know, we're not going to get it coming out from the end of the platform, but once it gets here, we should get the view. Um, didn't quite work like that, did it? As I think you've probably seen. So would you say that some people here weren't very happy about that? Um, including me, but you know, as I said before, I've got to run the schedule, don't I? Um, so we did get a nice bit of steam sound, but that's about it there. Um, and then it was a bit congested, as you can see. Um, but uh, I've got a hole in the train which I wanted to do, and. Uh, This was uh, near the end of the train, as you can see, and I was in that last carriage when it came back and I went out on it, right next to the class uh, 47. So, uh, pretty good, um, at all. So, as I said, I took cameras with me, I had four cameras. Uh, so, I put my uh, GoPro on the top of my selfie stick and tried to get over the top of that logo to get it coming out, but as you can see, it wasn't very successful. Um, and of course I wasn't really controlling this, I was more controlling the um, hand order. So it just took what it took really. Um, but it was a worthwhile exercise, it was not a little bit stupid. But uh, we try these things, so we've got a nice view of the roof of this one. And then you can see, just see the one coming in and something to see in it. Um, and a little bit of the carriages. Uh, but I did get the uh, the 47, you know, which is a locomotive in its own right, isn't it? Um, you will see closer views of that. Yeah, I've got the platform to myself for a few hours now, then, have I? Well, yeah, I've got half of it. I've got the platform for a few hours to myself. Oh, you should have. I'm going on the one this afternoon. Right, so So then there was nothing else left but to film some trains and sort of fill in me few hours that I had to wait for it to come back. So that's what I did. So I'll show you a few trains and a few other bits and pieces and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, while you watch these trains you might uh, be pleased to know that uh, I didn't starve and I did go and get myself some sandwiches and another cup of tea and uh, quite enjoyed it and it was very pleasant, uh, very nice watching the trains. Lovely.
So I then went on to platform one, which is where we'll be leaving from for the rail tour. And uh, this is the north side of the station. And as you can see, there's a bus stop and everything. And I just thought I'd pan around and just show you um, sort of the layout of it. Um, and obviously there is um, station buildings on the other side, on the south side. Um, so this is where you go in on you come in from this side. Um, and as I was on the platform, I thought I'd have a little walk up the end. So here we go and it's quite a few sidings up this side to be honest um, and I'm assuming uh, the train in the shed is uh, that must be the cleaning part I would imagine I don't know can't really see from here and I got to the end of the platform so that's about it we got a few few lights so this is uh, in the direction of London and Nice, nice Budlia, and that's in the way of Norwich, which is the way we'll be going on the Mayflower. And as you can see, it's clouding up a bit from what it was this morning, but there we are. So there was this train parked on the platform, and I thought I took some close-ups, um, and it's a 720 class, as you can see, and there were two um, together. So uh, you would have seen a bit of this um, before, so that's them. And so I've uh, I had a bit very of that kindly really. allowed to go in the cab of the the train here, yeah, in the middle actually of it, and uh, lots of buttons, one would say. And if you look out the window, there's the other bit of the train. And down at the floor is the old pedal that you have to push. So uh, that's great. Nothing on the screen yet. So I thank the lady very much for letting me have a look. And this is the front of the train, and there's the coupling. Um, hope you like them. And the signal was at red at this stage. And then believe it or not, it changed to green. The train could pull out. So let's have that now, shall we? I'm here on uh, <coughs> platform number two and I just thought I'd show you uh, platform uh, um, three and four I suppose it is um, and it's weird isn't it you see the crossover there that's because um, this goes into a, an end with a well a wall um, buffer stop on it one that I put on the layout I've got a couple of them and I uh, took a few pictures of that for you um, and yeah they look exactly don't they with the light above and everything and they're just uh, bolted on by the look of it aren't they um, quite clever so trains coming in and in, in all intents and purposes it's you know it's a it's a terminus uh, platform in a way um, but they stop just short of the uh, the point I suppose that's why they come in so slow and then when it goes out um, 
out of it goes onto the main line basically. So what's interesting about this is that that line that's going on to now is the main line screw, the up line to London. And the trains still stop here when they're on that line. So we've had the whole of that train in the platform where it's come out of. But when I follow it along, this platform is where the main line train stop. And that's long enough to take those huge 12 coach trains. Walking up the uh, platform and this shot out from behind me, I missed the logos, although there are a couple of uh, electric ones on the front. And this is the only freight I threw, saw through the, the station that day. Um, I did go in the offices to see if um, there were any coming, but they said no. So uh, this hopefully was the last train to come in on platform one, um, so that we could get our tour train on when it came back from those in Edmund, which is coming up, coming along. So uh, quite... Um, the amount of trains was, I was amazed, I really was. And I'm, you know, it's not the busiest station on the network, no, is I'm it? I'm sure this is it. So here we are. I'm not sure um, is it. The 47, no. doing sterling work oh, on the front of this train now, yeah, of course. That's the 47. And uh, going very there, slowly. And the reason for that is it's going okay. to go across all these tracks. I placed myself on this platform, which is platform uh, 4. Um, so I thought that's what it's going to have to do. It's going to come up the main line and go across to platform yep, one. And that's what it did. So uh, got this in the way. And we didn't have a train in the way. Pretty good. So uh, making some nice noise because it's coming up that steep hill, isn't it? So we'll have a closer look at the uh, 47 in a minute. And there's my carriage that I'll be getting on. And I must say that Bayflower uh, in this shot sounded like a bag of nails. <laughs> I didn't like the big ends are going on it if it was a car. I suppose this just wasn't doing any steam in the cylinders. So you could hear them stand up to the forward. But there we are. So I went back into the station, stopped exactly the same place as uh, in the morning, so we couldn't get at it. So I had to walk right from the end of the uh, other platform all the way down and under, up onto uh, platform one and then get up this end. Um, so I said I'd show you a bit more of the 47, it's a 47 4 as you can see by the sign. And 47772. Um, West Coast Railways, what would we do without those, eh? And the coach is supplied by them. Super. And this one's got a name. Farm Force TMD. That's up in the Lake District, I believe, isn't it? I think. Um, scratches down the side. So uh, I managed to um, get the camera up and look at the cab. And the last time I did this was on Dover Court, well on Harwich Station with uh, a West Coast, um, no it wasn't the West Coast, but uh, windows were equally dirty so I couldn't see very well in there. A bit better I think. Uh, pretty good. So we then got on the train and this is my carriage, Jay, right at the end, 1732 the seats, and out we go. Um, and yes, it rather annoyed me that this particular time um, people were allowed on the bit with the barriers, uh, which we weren't allowed in the morning. So I don't know why that happened. Never mind. So we started our progress towards Berries and Edmonds. Um, well, I must admit, you know, seeing the scenery flashing by is not um, particularly good TV, is it, or video. So I'll do a little bit, but not a huge amount. Um, and uh, then we'll get back to Colchester. Well, a bit of Berry, and then back to Colchester, and uh, a bit there as well. And then the journey home, or some of it, how we get on. 
So, um, yeah, this is sort of outskirts going through culture on the way back to Manitri. Um, I don't think I've got any of Manitri, although I might have done. So I have to take uh, all these hardy people that go out in the middle of nowhere to get these trains and somehow and uh, we'll a few more on the way. We're only waving, I think we're yeah. all completely blurry, whereas that one is a lot better. And this one was so quick, I thought I'd better give you a still of it. Well done, lads. Unless we came into Manningtree, uh, a lot of the people that were on the platform at Colchester yeah. oh. decided to come here and film. We were on that platform, they got as good a picture as we did. I feel sorry for them. I think the, uh, I think the people at the uh, level crossing just coming up got a better view. There we are. Not many there though. Oh, well, I like Great. That's the line off to Harry. Good. Are you having a good trip so far? It's been a lot, yeah. It's a nice day at Colchester. A lot of trains. There are a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, we struggled to get a plot off originally. Indeed. Well, we were originally due to do another one this morning at 8 o'clock. Network Rail City. So, uh, then obviously we tried to get stopped at Ipswich on these. They said no to that as well. So, but. I take it we're not stopping it, we don't no, 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 no. Yeah, we don't. I think we are on the return. I'll just have a check. Yeah. You, you, yes. uh, you, you've trained a lot of people yeah, into yeah, Colchester, yeah, right, yeah. but so they can't get out of it all the way back. That fly hadn't got a ticket. Well, that was, but he got a ticket. <laughs> Tuck it off. <laughs> but yes, no, definitely. Anything we can do for out, just let us know. And, uh, yeah, we're happy to help. All Hello. Right. Thank you. Well, right. I, I wondered if I could plant that in the cab of the Mayflower. You ask them nicely enough, you never know. I don't know. <laughs> The owner's up there today, actually, David. He, oh, he owns the Mayflower uh, Motors. Uh, but apparently, we can't get near it at Berrington Edmonds either, I've been told. <laughs> It's unlikely. I mean, it depends yeah. on how far they pull up um, well, that's what, with the short platform. Yeah, I did ask well, earlier so. and they said, no, it goes beyond the platform. You may be able to later. We're obviously yeah. doing a few trips later on as well, so uh, have a look later. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. We're in the cab of one of the modern trains. Let me in and have a look at the morning. All right. We'll be in the middle of the train. Yeah. Nice lady to get us. Is there any chance to film? We've got out. The tunnel. Yeah. Come out very well, wouldn't it? I could have done it in the tunnel. Well, this is the tunnel before which we station. Only waving, aren't it? got a better picture than I did this morning. Yeah, he's got his uh, tripod there. Well, if you're not going on it, you know, I could have bought the tripod if I wasn't going on it, but because I am... Oh, yeah, I think I've lost that. There must be some more later on. Get the 66. I don't think you'll be on that one. I've got one of them on the railway freight line of 66. But it's a load haul one, you know. I was, walking the the <coughs> hmm. um, I was walking out the platform at Colchester and uh, one of these came flying through. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I didn't get the engines, I got the rest of the train. Yeah. I like it was moving. Yes, yeah. well, I went in. Yeah, I went in the office. And I asked and said, are there any more freight trains? And there weren't any. <laughs> uh, so, 
where the line splits just uh, this one you can see is going to Norwich mm -hmm. the ones we're going on are going to uh, Newmarket um, which obviously we didn't get to so we didn't go that far so there was a curve here and some of them were trying to get photos of the engine but it didn't really work out I couldn't get there anyway. as we approach Berry the well known uh, sugar beet silos see them from the A45 I think um, yeah. Or in fact, the road was just before we hit into the surgery. It was coming up. Yeah. Yeah. And then that building gets in the way. Yeah. That's right. Because we're not going to see the platform, are we? We're not. We're not going to arrive at the platform. Yeah. Well, I think the tables are. The seats are too near the table, you know what I mean? Oh, that old mess. Any chance of me going first so I can get a bit through? Oh. As you hold the... Uh, yeah. So uh, we've stopped at Berry and um, the platforms aren't long enough so we've got to walk through a few carriages to get off. So, great fun. But, uh, that's right. Good run. Not a, not a problem. And it got a move on. Really good. I'm going to have to get off at some stage. I couldn't miss out. Oh, yeah. I'm filming, but I'm keeping you out of the way. Oh, I don't mind you. YouTube. I found it strange. I was in the uh, cheapest seats, yet these didn't have a tablecloth on or anything. So did they put me in a... A one-up class, I don't know. Oh, it's a posh party, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I've got a black tie on my model as well. You should be coming forward. Stand back a bit. <laughs> <laughs>
probably going to be about it. Yeah, that's all right. Just let it So, uh, as our carriage arrived at the end behind the um, uh, 47, uh, we had to get on here and then walk all through the um, carriages as we saw when we got off. Um, so, the British uh, queuing uh, mentality came fully into um, use and we just took our time and got on the train. You know, like nice ten minutes in Berry to then really enjoyed it. It's great. So um, we, we spent ten minutes at Berry trying to get pictures of the uh, main mail. Not easy. And um, we're back in our seats and we've got a diesel 47 right at the end of this carriage. So uh, we'll probably hear it a bit, hopefully, and uh, we might get some shots of the main when we go around bends, but I have my doubts, we'll see. Not very many shots then. No. And uh, what, the gentleman you can hear is my companion for the uh, for the day. And we've never met before, but it's been an interesting conversation we've been having. And the other two shot, went over the other side. <laughs> uh, that's very nice. Because being a terminal station, they've got to be able to go in and out of all platforms. Because if you get this lot of clouds, it'll get darker quicker. Yeah. You know, because don't have the sun out, no? it will get dark quite quick. Right. You remember the Ever Given that blocked the Suez Canal? Oh. I took that coming into the field. It's only four months late. Oh, right. Mm. I mean, imagine all what the stuff on there, would not it? Probably a lot of model railway stuff, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, yeah, there's them logos again. That's what they did to get me out of Pretty good. Now this time we were allowed to stop in this bridge on the way back and of course all the passengers that had booked from it which we get off. So it saved uh, steam dreams having to um, get them from Colchester back here. So we're very pleased with that I would imagine. So here we were crossing over all the line from the main line into platform one, um, as I showed um, when it came back in the morning run. So this is a view from inside the train. Not as distinctive, not as uh, dramatic, is it? Yeah, we're going across to platform one. Few people now. filming, but not a great deal. Um, so yeah, there's only so one person right back to Colchester. Um, pretty early actually. Um, we'll see a clock uh, in a minute. And uh, well, I hope you enjoy your trip tonight. <laughs> You're having a meal? No, not, not, not one of them. Uh, Nobody at the barriers, look. Not right. But uh, there we are. Yeah, that's what gets in the way, this thing here, look, for the steam. These, these things, they won't let you down that bit. Although I noticed earlier on, when this, before this pulled out with us on it, they were letting them down there, so I don't know why they wouldn't let us down there this morning. Not very nice. Oh, good. <laughs> you have to do these things properly. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Hey, yeah, look, clock right in the right place. Lovely. Right, that'll do. So, uh, our train had to go in the sidings again um, to wait for the trip tonight, on that night, to Norwich, which my uh, fellow passengers are going on. Um, so this is it uh, going into the side. I do enjoy it.
So it was time to go home. <coughs> I got on a train and got back to Manningtree. Um, and this is the uh, my train coming in um, to take me back to Dovercourt. So you'll see a bit of um, the line and some of the stations and a uh, few bits on the way back. So I'll just um, keep quiet most of the time. this level crossing there's a tunnel for the road to go under and it's a very low and very small and things keep getting stuck in it. It causes chaos. come off the end of this uh, platform there's a level crossing and the road that it uh, deals with 
goes into the cruise terminal and it can cause a hell of a job when it's shut there's queues everywhere especially when we had the big cruise liners in you know so great fun right place at right time come to mind because the cruise ship we saw in port on the way to start our day is making its way down the river Stour towards the sea and you couldn't uh, plan it like this could you so the video showing this leaving port a couple of weeks ago will be coming up shortly uh, well not that shortly but it's uh, in progress shall we say so uh, <coughs> got back to Dover Court and did me walk up to the house and uh, fine, had something to eat and whatever. Went, out, went for a drink with my neighbour that evening. And I thought you'd like to see these uh, 290s that we saw um, on our way um, round Ipswich really, wasn't it? And uh, what did I think? I thought it was a thoroughly good day. And if I tell you that the ticket itself was only... Uh, 49 pounds and I did add a pound for carbon offset which I asked you for um, I thought it was really well and I didn't expect the free tea um, I must admit um, and I do wonder whether I was in a different class um, it's possible isn't it seemed a bit strange but there we are um, but yeah I'd certainly go on another one and um, for the money it was very very good value and it was fantastic to see uh, Mayflower uh, doing a good job and talking of the Mayflower, the line from Manningtree to Harwich Town is called the Mayflower Line. So that's rather appropriate. So if, there's, uh, if you've enjoyed this, please comment um, and like. And uh, would you like to see more trains, proper trains, on my channel? Um, let me know, please. So cheers, everybody. Cheers.